just thought I'd show you what I've been working on. <coughs> soft, soft eyelid rig. It's uh, done with multiple controls, and we have uh, wink and blink. And we can adjust the center. So we have uh, eyelids following the eyes to a certain point. They are limited um, in their rotations, just along one axis. Can adjust the limits. They sit on the wink blink control here. So for minus 20 for the upper limit, probably a bit extreme. Uh, not too bad actually. Rig holds up pretty well. It's working well, and of course these controllers, nice and soft. Um, the eyelid, uh, as much as possible, uh, stays around the sphere of the eyeball. With the little auxiliary controls on either side, controls on the center, and on the outside. and um, still works with the blink. This technique uh, found on a video by Marco Giordano. Um, find it here in uh, Vimeo. A tutorial, Cartoon Eyelid Rigging. There's uh, four quite comprehensive videos. Um, really good. Recommend having a, having a watch. So um, I'll uh, load a blank one in, and I'll run my script and uh, show you how to set that up. And uh, basically all we've got here is a bit of geometry, a couple of joints. Um, what we're going to be doing is actually selecting curves off the surface of the mesh. Um, I've already uh, created these uh, selection sets. But, um, here we go. Let's rig my eye. Now I need to differentiate because the eyes are uh, mirrors opposite, so I need to differentiate between left and right. Um, I'll select my eye. I'll select my curve. As I said, I've already got this selection set working. You can see the curve follows that line. It is actually this curve, but I've trimmed it down so I don't need to manually select it every time. I've got one for the top of the eyelid and one for the bottom. Okay, so I'll select my top one, add it to the UI, select the bottom one, add that there. I'm going to rig those curves. Now it comes up with a little confirmation because what we're doing here, um, the curves get a bit out of place. So I'm just going to stop that here and um, move these CVs more accurately into position. There. A little. What I want to do is, with this low res line, I want to match the high res line as close as possible. Just pull it a little bit higher. Helps the eyelids actually touch when they uh, when they close. It's pretty good. It doesn't have to be uh, exact. 
just close enough. And as I say, I uh, tend to run the uh, this driving curve uh, slightly higher than the control curve it's come from. Same for the bottom. Once again, just slightly outside that control curve. I say, yeah, it'd be exact. Let's pull that a little far out. Just slightly around the outside. Okay, I'm going to come out of that. Bring my polys back and show. And I'm going to rig it. Oh, dumb. At the moment, it's not uh, it's not skinned. Um, so none of these controls will apparently work. Although, um, if you grab the aim control, you will be able to see the eyeball now aiming and the um, controllers moving up and down uh, following the aim. I'll just uh, pause for a second and I'll do the other eye. Okay, now we're back. Um, we've got both uh, eyelids rigged. I'll set up and do the skinning. I'm just uh, going to jam these hard weights on here for the the head. Come in and paint some softness around the eyes. Just smooth that out a bit. Too smooth. And I'll just test it down there. up a little bit. And we'll see what that looks like. The wink up the other end. Smooth that out a little bit more. That's a little nicer. Close. It's working nicely. Put that in the middle. It's 
where the blink meets. Uh, you can put it down the down the bottom. It's usually about 0.1. It's what I usually have for a standard human blink. A little bit of movement in the bottom eyelid. Most of the movement at the top. And of course we can roll these about. And I'll just go to the skin weights and just check a visual checks. And there we go, that worked. So now I will work on this side. Twenty-five is now the position for the blink meeting. It's working nicely. For the top, controls for the bottom, and intermediate ones. There we are. Craig's soft eyelid rig.